every morning, I promise myself that I will spend the entire day as a man. But I think Lily's thoughts. I dream her dreams. Lily Elba was an extraordinary woman. She was born Ina Vena and became perhaps the first woman to transition and undergo gender confirmation surgery. This is not my body. I have to let him go. Eddie Redmayne was my very first thought. He was who I wanted to cast when I read the script. Like all truly great actors, Eddie has got this fuel which drives him to incredible levels of conscientiousness and hard work. It's a part that takes a great actor, and Eddie really takes us there through all the levels of becoming Lily. What was important for me was meeting um, men and women from the trans community and hearing about their lives and what they've gone through, and they've been so giving. Every single trans person I've met has talked about knowing that it was from their youth that their, their assigned gender was different to their own inner identity. And so at the beginning of the film, when Lily's living as INR, he has these incredibly high starched collars, these very, very formal suits. All of this for me was a sense of Lily putting up this exoskeleton. A lot of our conversations were about rather than the character kind of learning to be something new, it needed to look like Lily was learning to shed Einar. And so one of the things I looked into is when was her inner self exposed, as it were the sort of subconscious moments in which her true gender spoke. It's Lily. <laughs> what was it? Eddie has taken on this part with such sensitivity. I just wanted to embrace him the first time when I had seen him playing Lily. It was so clear and authentic. I could just lose myself getting to know Lily because she was so real. I think he feels such a deep responsibility to get every moment right. And it's been wonderful to watch him do that with such courage and honesty and just incredible commitment. For me, this film is a reassertion of the profundity of love. What an extraordinary thing it can be, how it is not defined by gender, by sexuality, by anything. It's something other. It's about the soul. Hey guys, now the trailer for my big fat Greek wedding too is already out, but did you know that despite pulling in over 240 million, the first my big fat Greek wedding never once topped the US box office chart? Hmm. Now for this and more movie facts, click on more videos, but if you want something different, click on the playlist. <laughs>